The camera is dark, but it's okay because I got a hairy hug. And I hope y'all can hear me, but I'm tired, y'all. It is currently 341 and oh, it is currently 341 and we are getting ready to leave to go to the airport. Um I need to sleep around like 12 something or 1 something. And that's because I couldn't go to sleep, but I'm exhausted. Even though I was extra tired last night, I couldn't go to sleep. But now I'm trying to hurry up so that we don't be late. So that you're trying, she's trying to get there before like 4.30, but I don't see that happening. But right now, I'm trying to um, do my edges. That's really all I gotta do and put my stuff in the bag. Um, like my computer and stuff. Because I took it out and I was using it. So after that, I'm done. Hopefully, shit, I'm going on me. So yeah, I'm gonna just do that real quick because I'm tired now. I really don't feel like talking. And I'm trying to hurry up. Because it's like we're actually like cutting time. It's getting closer and closer. So yeah, I'm gonna just hear you do this and talk to y'all later. Anyways, yeah, they threw away my edge control because I had it in my bag and it was too big, but I forgot to take it out. So, uh, yeah, but we going by some more because I can't walk around Miami with my edges crusty. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Alright, so we're gonna start with the B group looking for B one up to ten. Oh yeah, the next flight is at 8 something, 8.30 I think, but yeah, I'm about to edit because that's what I need to do, so yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later. These people are looking at me, like, you never seen a girl with a camera, okay? 
didn't even say. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, um, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so we made it to Miami. Um, it's been rough. It's been really rough because, um, basically, when we landed in Miami from Dallas, the Dallas airport, we landed in Miami or whatever, and we were having a hard time finding because we rented the car, um, so that we can like drive ourselves around or whatever. So we rented the car or whatever, and it was really hard trying to find the rental car so we were having trouble with that and we finally found it or whatever it was a long process i'm not even gonna cap then we had to find a hotel and that was it wasn't that hard it was just hard trying to connect to the stuff and all of that like that and you know just making our way around so yeah it wasn't too bad but we just made it to the hotel not too long ago and right now she's checking in or whatever and yeah so after this we'll probably just you know get settled in or whatever then go find something to eat and stuff like that and go to a couple of stores because like i said they threw away my edge control and i'm not gonna walk around here with no edge control and i actually want to go find another charger to my phone because my charger broke right before we left Beaumont. my charger broke and i don't know how and it made me mad that was my fast charger and you know it was longer and stuff like that i don't even care if it's long i just need a fast charger because i hate using this regular charger and it charged so freaking slow so mm -mm. so yeah we might go to walmart and the hair store if i can't find no edge control over there and maybe a couple other places and that's pretty much if we ain't doing much today just because it's been a long day and we're tired so we're not gonna really be able to enjoy enjoy ourselves so definitely just gonna come back to the hotel pretty early and you know settle down and get ready for the next day and then we gonna turn the f up so yeah um but when i get back to the hotel tonight i'm just gonna edit for a little bit hopefully i can get it all done the way i can get it out so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing I'll see y'all when we actually doing something or we getting settled in the hotel. So yeah. Okay y'all, so this is the room tour. So we walk in, it's just this like mirror with some drawers and stuff and it's real nice. And I can take him some pictures right here. It's perfect. Then right here is a closet. We got our stuff in here though. It's just this closet. It's real roomy in here. But yeah. This is the bathroom. It's so freaking cute in here. Like, and then y'all look at the freaking toilet. You got a private toilet with a glass door. A glass door. Then over here is the shower, and it looks so nice. Hey, like, bro, what the heck? Like, yes, 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 so cute, so freaking cute. And then over here, oh no, wait, this is my favorite part. It has a slide door, y'all, a slide door to the bathroom. And look how big it is, like, who you know? Who you know? Come on, who you know? And then over here, wait, is this some real cabinet? Oh! We got cabinet. We might as well move in, baby. <laughs> Go buy us some dishes. Nah, I'm playing. But no. Uh, this little cute setup or whatever. And then we got the two bedroom. And I like the thermostat, even though that ain't nothing important or whatever. And then they have like the little um, the little lights that control this says entry. It goes to that way. And then the master. The master is um, all three, I think, or something like that. I don't know. Then the wall unit, that just controls that one. And then the drapery, like, that's over there. See? And then the TV, we got a flat screen, of course. I mean, that ain't nothing. But it's cute, though. Then they got another mirror right here. And yeah. 
and then this is the little view or whatever. It ain't all that, but my mama don't like it because of the construction. But it'll do. If you look that way, you'll be pleased. But yeah, we they asked us if we wanted to get the, the poolside view or the city view. And we thought the city view was going to be like a bomb. So we picked city view. And But it's like, it's still cute. We're going to see how it look at night though. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Real nice, real nice. Pick up and like, what is she doing? Ooh, what's this? Tab 42. Oh. Okay, y'all, so I can't really record in here because of the music, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm getting real quick. Okay, so we're getting this, the spinach and artichoke dip, and this one. The fried chicken and waffles. So yeah, I'm gonna um, come back when the food gets here, but I'm not really gonna put the sound on there because the music is loud, baby, loud. They're gonna copyright me. I came here to get some edge control because y'all know they took my stuff and threw it away. So, well, if all things fail, I'll get some uh, eco gel, even though they don't hold me. What's this? No, I kind of want to dig in this and put it on my hand. Oh, it, but it's a water base. This look like. Yeah. This is like it's gonna hold. This is like regular edge control, even though I haven't used it. Open it. See Total what it transformations. Like. Hicks edge control. What it look like? Oh yeah. So you think that's gonna hold. <laughs> Let me see. Using them people edge control. I'm it? sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. This is so good. I'm not putting it in. It's like look. This is get one. It's like the one that I got. Yeah, I brushed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so ghetto. <laughs> Don't work, man. Oh man. Hey, you should work though. I think I'm be good with that. Come on, let's try it. <laughs> Bro, I'm dead. Okay, so. I'm gonna give y'all a little haul. Don't mind my hair because I left my uh, cup in Houston. I must have dropped it. And don't mind the shirt because it look. Y'all see me what it should look like a thousand times. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna give y'all the haul. So I went to go get a charger because mine broke right before we left. So I got the, the fast charger in the charger box. Yes, yeah, so I got that. Okay. Then we went to Walmart and I got some Gatorade Fruit Punch. Oh, that's disrespectful. Um, some of this like Clorox. We got this to like spray it on the sheets and stuff like that because people have germs and we don't want germs. <laughs> and then. We got these scrunchies. We already opened them or whatever, but we got these scrunchies. Then an edge brush, even though I already bought my own. My mom was like, she needed one, so. Then some rubber bands. Yeah, I know I had to go get me some edge control. I never tried this edge control, but um, I just hope, I just hope it works. Because if it don't, I'm being my feelings. And then we got a jug of water, just in case we get thirsty. And some napkins, we already opened it or whatever, but yeah, some napkins. And that's, that's it. So yeah, that's, that's all the stuff we bought, just a little, a little something. And I'm actually gonna drink this right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. We'll see, I'm gonna see y'all in the morning, so yeah. Good night. This is the fit for today. I got this two piece set from Bushmark and then this little 
these those sandals. Um, I don't know whether I'm that as well. And then this purse from Shein. Shades from Shein. Bracelets from James Avery. Rings from James Avery. Bracelets from I don't know. I forgot. And yeah, that's the fit for today. We're supposed to be going to um to the boat or whatever. It's really not that hot outside. It's like 80 some degrees. It don't feel cold, nothing like that, but it's a little windy. See, look, cut on. It's a little windy. Y'all see the trees kind of blowing a little bit, and yeah, so I'm a little bit scared because I feel like I'm gonna be a little cold. But I'm gonna it out while we're on the boat because I need to take some pictures. It don't matter what the weather is like, you can still be cute, even if it's freezing cold outside. I'm lying, but I don't know. I know I'm still gonna take pictures in this. I don't care. So yeah, that's the outfit or whatever. And after the boat, well, we finna go get some eat first. But it's in the like we go try to go where the boat area is, and then get on the boat. But we gonna try to do that, and then we might go to the beach today, and some other stuff. I don't know. But yeah. I gotta change the clothes too, just in case. So y'all might see me change my clothes very often. So yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll see y'all when we doing something or when we leave here. And yeah. Oh, that's a that's a store. So I guess we can go to Five Glass. What's that black market? Right. The boat tours. 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 The boat some clothes because it's getting really cold outside and it's starting to rain a little bit so yeah we just bought some clothes from pink in the outlet that they had or whatever so that we could be a bit warmer so yeah outfit change number one <laughs> so yeah y'all um after this we're going on a boat ride so i'm gonna see how we get on a boat ride so now guys, throughout this whole voyage, if anybody needs help taking pictures with your friends or families, let me know. I'm here to help out everybody. Mama Lowie, yet? Being that MIA, baby. Oh, my God. Okay, y'all, so we got some popcorn and stuff and a little drink from a place. It's a little icy thing thing. But yeah, we um on the way to the hair store because like I said, I need some edge control and the edge control that I bought yesterday did not work as you can see. I gave it a 2 out of 10 because it still looked nice. It's just like it's like it looked like it was late, but it didn't lay. So that's why I gave it a 2 out of 10. But yeah, I'm definitely not using that again. So we're going to the hair store, whatever, try to find the hair store. We probably do bowling later. So yeah, then I'm going to change again. I already told you I'm changing like so much today. They only sell that online. online. I see this if I don't see the got to be. Oh, look. Right there. Okay, uh, so did we just get dressed in the car? We did. We did. But anyways, we finna go to this place called Strike 10 Bowling. Uh, it's called Strike 10, but it's a bowling alley thing. So yeah, we finna go do that. And yep. Oh, and I got me some edge control, y'all. So 
Look at my edges now. Hold on, it's not focusing. Look at them now. Yep, they. All right. Anyways, bye. Y'all, this is where we finna go. It looks lit over here, but I'm finna turn it up real quick. Okay, y'all. So we ended up leaving that place or whatever because. It, for one, it was a two hour wait to a bowl. And we had got there at like nine something. And then we sat down on, cause we was gonna go for it or whatever. But then we sat down and stuff like that. They had other stuff to do or whatever. We did like two things of hockey, air hockey. And then we was like just sitting there like, just watching and stuff and talking and stuff like that. And then eventually we just decided to leave. It's like. 11:44. They still didn't take because we put our name on the list and they still didn't text us to that it was ready or whatever like that. So we just left because it was getting too late. So yeah, now we on the way to get something to eat because I'm hungry. Even though I ain't finished my burger earlier, <laughs> I'll never finish my burger. Then I got no microwave in the uh in the room, so I'm gonna be uh hungry and I can't go to sleep when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna need that food. But yeah, um. I'm gonna I'm come back when, when we get some food or whatever we do. Oh, Y'all, McDonald's is not this good at all. They ain't tripping. I mean, the line don't look that long. Like, it looks long because it's coming out the street, but the building looks short. I don't know. Okay, y'all, so we ain't gonna get nothing to eat because they, um, hold on, because I'm itching. I don't know. It's some towels, bro. I'm breaking out. Look, mama. What? I got a whole rash right here. From what? I don't know. What else finna say? Oh yeah, we ain't gonna get nothing to eat because because uh, they, they <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> because they they basically only have one freaking fast food. Like bro, you telling me we driving this far and they don't, they don't got nothing to eat. Like, bro, as big as this town is, it should have, like, 10 fast foods on every block. Like, not not 10, but, you know, like, every fast food on every block. But, no, they only had one McDonald's, and that was it. And the rest was restaurants, but they was closed, of course, because it's, like, midnight. So, yeah, we ain't really go get nothing, and that McDonald's line was long. So, I'm going to eat my leftover burger. <laughs> that mug going to be soggy, but it's, like... I'm gonna be, I don't know. Dang, I ain't even get my mail. It's alright. I'm gonna just dug it out. <laughs> I ain't bringing that mail that they gave me. But yeah, I'm gonna just warm that up here and eat it. So, yeah. But my mom finna take a shower, then I finna take a shower. Then I'm gonna go warm it up, then I'm gonna eat it, then I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, we ain't had no microwave, but they, they got a microwave on the eighth floor. Like, what? Okay. <laughs> it's the next day, and we finna go take pictures. Yes, I have on the same thing from yesterday, because my pictures didn't come out right, so I'm taking them again, because that's what I do. Is that ready on the camera? Yeah, so now we about to go eat and we finna go eat at um that tap 42 place again because it was just that good and chicken and waffles was busting but this is my outfit i don't y'all can't see the bottom of me i'm just show y'all but it's a two-piece set for blush mark if y'all seen the haul then you know what i'm talking about if you haven't seen the haul then go watch the haul come on <laughs> period
but then I got this purse. Y'all didn't see me wear this like a million times. It's, it's one of my favorite purses. And then these tights. And then the foam runners. And yeah. That's the fit. I need a jacket. Is it this bag? Mm -hmm. Both of them. You want one too? But yeah, <laughs> y'all, it's hot, then it's cold, and it's hot, then it's cold. But it feels good, the hotness. And this shirt is tight as heck, so I'm gonna sell it on my um closet clean out on Snapchat. I'm gonna sell it for the cheap, though. For sure. But yeah, yeah, like my um oh, I ain't show y'all where this was from. These are from Shein. Y'all already knew that though. Anyways, okay. Uh I'm go I'm gonna come back when we get our food. I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? <laughs> But no, so this is what happened. So basically, we we were sitting at the table or whatever, and I had my camera like propped up in the corner, just sitting there. And that's because I didn't want it to fall on the floor. And then we got up and we just left it. <laughs> I didn't realize it till we got on the other side of town. So it was like 30, 40 minutes away. And I ain't realized it the whole time. And then I'm like, oh, snap. I was like, no, I was about to vlog while I was at the beach. And that's why I remember because I didn't have my camera. Then I started panicking. I was about to cry. And then when I called them and asked them about it, they was like, oh, yeah, we have it. It was nothing but God. <laughs> they could have stole my camera. But, no, it was... That's good though. Then when I walked up in there, I didn't have to say nothing. I walked up in there, the lady was like, I was like, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I got y'all back. I'm sorry that I left y'all like that. I won't do that again. Bro, I'm not that tired. <laughs> Look at my eyes. <laughs> it's that food. It's that food that got me tired. Anyways, yeah, but we trying to figure out something else to do. I know it's so much to do, but what? Y'all, we are super blue. We finna go through the clouds. <laughs> Damn, we look like some tampons. Ooh, mommy. <laughs> a 10 out of 10 but we're gonna go do some other activities here so Every time I reach a fork in the road, 
choose both paths. And then choose both again at the next division. The more my paths divide and multiply, the more sides of myself I offer to the air. Ready to tell which one is our favorite, but 10 out of 10 recommend. Period. Y'all need to come. I, to the doors I know. Y'all need to come to Super Blue in Miami. Super Blue. Do that. Even these pictures would be live on me. Y'all, they have a store in here. Pretty cool. What is this chalk? Oh, this chalk. I think. I don't even know. Acorn base. Oh, let's go pretty deep. Y'all, look at their target. The drivers out here are terrible. Like, they they blow soon as the light turn red. Like, not even turn point. Green. Yeah, as soon as the light turn green, they want to blow. Not even 0.5 seconds. Not even point seven five seconds of the light turning green, they gonna blow. Like, dang, what you want us to do? Then they blow at every little thing. And then this Wayne lady, she got mad at my mama for no reason. They, they had a stop sign. She started blowing at my mama. Then they pulled up on the side of us. And they was like this, getting buck in the window. So my mama was getting bucked back. <laughs> It was just they pulled out first though. Yeah, they pulled out first. I'm about that life. I'm dead. But no, they so rude out here. Like, where's you blowing for? Just weird. Bro, what kind of street is this? <laughs> I forgot. I would have definitely wrecked the car though if I was driving. I ain't even gonna cap. Yeah, because they drive crazy. Mm -hmm. I would have been wrecked. <laughs> we would have gotten to a wreck as soon as we pulled out the driveway and onto it. <laughs> okay, y'all. Finna go to that that crab du jour place. I mean, rock, this is like a rocking crab, but I'm gonna show y'all when we get our food. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So this is the food. I just got this po boy. Uh, it's a shrimp po boy. And then this is my mama's food. She got crabs, snow crabs. Um, look like shrimp with the nuts and crabfish. Okay, y'all. So, I give this restaurant a five out of ten. What you give it? What you give it, man? Uh, one out of ten. Yeah. Uh, I give it a five. Once she brought out extra seasoning, it was okay. It just uh, wasn't all that seasoning. I really give it lower. I would help in the kitchen. I really give it lower, but I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna slide. But yeah, it was definitely not it. <laughs> nah, but every other food place we didn't have y'all here so far has been great. Like every other food place has been good. So it was really just this one. I feel like I got corn in my teeth. So if I do, then they need a heal, baby. Cause you know. What kind of seafood was that? It was given very much dry, very much unseasoned. And of course we're gonna let y'all know if it's good or not. 
Period. It better be good. It look like a Johns though. If you from Beaumont, then you know what I'm talking about. But most of y'all not from Beaumont, so you don't know what I'm talking about. So maybe this is like that. You don't underestimate. That's why they say never judge a book by its cover because this place is not up to par. And Johns is not up to par, but they food busting. I don't know how they food taste yet, but we can see. This the food. I don't know what it is on it, but it smells and looks good. So okay, y'all. So we made it back to the hotel, and we finna take our showers and then go out to get ice cream. It's not white. I promise. I don't know why it looks like that. Well, this is probably white. It don't even matter because I finna take a shower. Anyways, yeah. I'm finna go out, get some ice cream, then come back in and lay down to go to bed. But yeah, today was our last day out here, and tomorrow we're going back to Houston. Well, we're going. And we're just gonna stay in Houston for the night and then um, drive out to Beaumont Wednesday. So yeah. So yeah, I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all when I get out the shower and stuff like that, and we on the way to get our ice cream. Y'all, yeah, so we just made it back to the room, and I forgot to bring my camera because I'm always forgetting to bring my camera. And we got some ice cream from Wally World, and I'm finna eat my ice cream. Then I'm finna go to bed. So this is good night. I will see you guys in the morning. And yeah, good night. got delayed or whatever it was like an hour delayed so yeah um but after that i'm gonna just talk to you when we get situated Dallas Airport and we got like a two hour away so we just eating and stuff like that while we wait around for our next flight and yeah I'm eating Chick-fil-A she eating Chick-fil-A yeah and then we go and get some ice cream <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna talk to y'all after I eat because I can't hold this camera and stuff. okay y'all so we made it back to Houston Road over. Don't mind how I look. Don't mind how I look. Because. Yeah. Anyways. We made it back to Houston or whatever. Um, oh. We got here around 7.30ish. 7.40ish. Well we landed around 7. No we landed around 7 something. Like 7.15 maybe. We got here around 7.30ish. 7.40ish. And yes. It is currently. 10:31. So yeah. Um. Okay, so rundown on the little trip or whatever because I gotta give y'all a rundown. First of all, Miami, 10 out of 10. Y'all should definitely go to Miami for vacation. I definitely recommend. I will definitely go back. I will definitely go back. Um, pros. Should I do pros and cons? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying stuff. The only thing that I don't like out there is the traffic. The traffic is terrible. Like, it didn't really surprise me, surprise me. But traffic is terrible. Like, if you going somewhere 30 minutes out here in Beaumont or 30 minutes out here in Houston, sometimes can take about 15 minutes in Beaumont 
it could take shorter than that. Out there, it's going to take you exactly 30 minutes to more than that. Because that's how bad traffic is. Like, oh my god. Then they blow like crazy. Like, as soon as the light turn green, they blowing at you. They blowing for nothing. They get booked. They rude as heck out there. Would I live out there? No. I really wouldn't live out there. I ain't even going to cap. But it's definitely a great place to visit. But I was saying in the beginning of the vlog that I was wondering if I was going to be scared on a plane. But I really wasn't. I didn't have a bad plane experience at all. Like, I was really chill. Because it's just like, I ride scary rides at the fair and stuff. Like, I'm the type of person to go to the fair and ride every single ride. Even if it's scary, I'm going to ride that twice. Because I like the the fright that it puts in my body like i just love that type of stuff but no the plane ride was really really chill um on the way to miami i did have a little what's to call it what's to call it a little bump in the road i guess <laughs> i don't even know what to call it but basically like my ear like you know how like your ears start popping or whatever my ears wasn't really popping at the time this was like we, we was finna get off and my ears was popping like off and on but i had ended up falling asleep or whatever and like i can feel my ears popping right i don't know if this is normal but <laughs> basically like towards the end i took out my airpods and in this ear i recently got that little piercing removed if y'all didn't know I recently got that little piercing removed or whatever. So I took out my AirPods and I was about to fall back asleep. And out of nowhere, like, I felt this sharp pain in my ear. Like, stabbing me in my ear. And when I tell you that, it hurt all on this side of my face. Like, from my underneath my jaw to my head, my head was banging. But it was like a sharp pain, like a stabbing pain. Like, something was stabbing in my ear drum. My hearing kept going in and out and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, I started crying because <laughs> I started crying because that was hurting. Like, it was hurting so bad. So, yeah, I started crying or whatever. And it was like that for a while, too. Like, it felt so bad. Like, every time I would open my mouth, it would, like, really hurt real bad right here. And so, yeah, like, it was like that for a little while and then it went away. I'm just glad it went away because, no. So, yeah, that's the only thing that, like, really got to me but yeah that was it the plane ride was smooth miami was good i wish we would have went out there during the summer though that way the weather would have been better but we thugged it out and we still had fun period but i'm trying to get better at this vlog and stuff so please bear with me but i had a great time i definitely recommend y'all go out there for vacation and yeah and that pretty much closes up this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tap that bell to be notified when I upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. And I'm so out of breath from talking. Just from talking, y'all. Just from talking. Like, that don't make no sense. But bye, y'all. See you in my next video. Do you even feel me? No, you don't. I know. You don't. I know. Impatient, conceited, but I swear it's like